Good morning, YouTube. This is Don V with Truth Be Told, and we have a couple more disturbing stories we'd like to share with you. And without ado, let's go ahead and move right on. First one is reported by the New York Post. I trust everything they say. <laughs> yeah, them and the rest of the fake news. It says, Cotton Crenshaw, critical race theory whistleblower line, has gotten hundreds of tips. A pair of GOP lawmakers who launched a whistleblower campaign last month for active military members to report critical race theory in a diversity training programs say they have received hundreds of tips. Senator Tom Cotton, Republican of Arkansas, who set up the tip line with Representative Dan Crenshaw, Republican of Texas, in late May, made the revelation in a tweet Tuesday morning, adding, the problem is real and worse than we thought. We've, we've received hundreds of whistleblower complaints about critical race theory being pushed on our soldiers. The Arkansas senator wrote, the problem is real and worse than we thought. Reps for Cotton did not immediately respond to the post request for comment on the exact number of tips as well as their nature. Reps for Crenshaw told the post on Tuesday that their office had received well over 300 serious, credible complaints through the site. Two law lawmakers, both military veterans, have been vocal in their opposition to the Defense Department's efforts to address extremism within its ranks, which became a priority in the wake of the January 6th Capitol riot, but appears to be injecting woke idea ideology into the military. A recently relieved Space Force commander claimed last month the Pentagon sent service members a video claiming that American and uh, white people were evil. Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Lohmeyer told Fox News Hannity that the videos were sent out to every base and service member. And we were asked to watch them in preparation for our extremism down days and discussion on race. What is going on with America? We've done everything we can to, you know, to not fight with people over their skin color. We're all red-blooded Americans. Why is the left pushing this so hard? Moving on, those videos, Lohmeyer added, taught that the country was evil and that it was founded in 1619 and not 1776 and that whites were are inherently evil. Not, 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 not. Lohmeyer did not specify when the videos were sent out beyond saying it had happened in the past 10 months and when I was a command of a unit. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin ordered a 60-day stand-down of the entire U.S. military back in February to allow for commanders to address the threat. Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby described the military wide pause at the time as similar to stand-down that units have to conduct to address safety concerns. In April, Austin issued a memo, memo with several immediate actions for the Pentagon to take to combat extremism following the stand-down, but cautioned that the department was continuing to address the issue proactively. In addition, Austin ordered an update to the DOD's definition of prohibited extremist activities among uninformed personnel, an update to the service member transition checklist a review and standardization of questionnaires for recruits, and a study on extremism in the ranks. Since then, a senior advisor to Austin, tasked with addressing extremism in the armed forces, has been appointed, who, according to social media posts, has claimed all 45 voters support racism and has called for curbing free speech online, and it's happening really bad. Speaking to Austin at a Senate Armed Services Committee hearing on Thursday, Cotton confronted the Pentagon chief about the anti-extremism program and its ramifications on the forces. Okay, all I know is that when Obama was in his first and second term, and now he's on his third, uh, we're seeing the same old garbage come back out again. Uh, he got rid of a whole bunch of conservative generals and admirals and replaced them with a bunch of liberal generals and admirals admirals in several of our military bases. So that's why you're seeing this kind of garbage. We need to write to our senators and our uh, 
House Representatives and demand a change in this. At any rate, moving on to the next story, it says, Victoria's Secret does away with angels. We'll replace models with purple-haired SJW soccer star Megan Rapono, transgenders plus size women. Oh my gosh. This should help the uh, ailing lingerie retailer. Oh yeah. A Victoria's Secret was once known for beautiful models strutting down the catwalk in angel wings and lingerie. In 2021, so the company is going in a new direction by getting rid of the angels and bringing an American hating purple haired SJW Megan Rapono transgender models and plus size obese women. When the world was changing, we were too slow to respond, Martin Waters, the chief executive of Victoria's Secret told New York Times, we need to stop being about what men want and to be about what women want. Uh, I have to remind my wife to never buy Victoria's Secret again. For dec decades, Victoria's Secret scantily clad supermodels optimized the height of femininity for millions. Now the lingerie giant is not just trying to redefine itself, but also the very idea of what sexy is, the New York Times said. I've known that we needed to change this brand for a long time. We just haven't had the control of the company to be able to do it. Waters told the New York Times in the, in the old days, Victoria Brand had a single lens, which is called sexy. Page Six reported the women will be hired as spokeswomen from Victoria's Secret and will be featured in marketing materials. Chapora and Rapono will join uh, Sundance Australian model Ada Akek, freestyle skier, a lingu, Brazilian transgender model, Valentina Sampaio, plus size model, Paloma Elliser, and journalist Amanda de Catanet, uh, who will host a 10 episode podcast where each of the women will share their stories. It's a group of women inspiring change and positivity. It's another step they're taking towards transforming the brand. The entire industry thought Victoria's Secret was done, an insider said. Well, in my opinion, and I'm allowed to have an opinion, Victoria's Secret is done. There's not going to be another red-blooded American male or female that's going to want anything to do with their uh, disgusting brand. At any rate, this is Don V with Truth Be Told, and we are out of here.